Now today I'm going to go over a question that comes up a lot in one of my other videos, which is my video on the Shimano HG Hub, and it talks about upgrading an 8-speed cassette to an 11-speed cassette. A lot of people end up asking if they can fit a 12-speed cassette on this same HG Free Hub, and the answer is yes and no. So yes, you can fit a 12-speed cassette on this hub as long as it is made for an HG hub. So SRAM has their own XD hub for their Eagle system and now Shimano went to a 12-speed system which uses their micro spline hub. Now why do they use different hubs than this even though this can take a 12-speed? is because this the diameter of this free hub will not allow for a sprocket smaller than 11 teeth. SRAM Eagle is 10 to 50 teeth and so is Shimano Microspline 12 speed. The smallest cog you can use is a 10 speed. Gives you a wider range of gears, right? So while you can use this for a 12 speed system, you're gonna be limited to a 11 speed small cog. May be important to you, Maybe not, because you can also change your front sprocket and do different gearing. But yes, your range of gears is definitely not going to be the same. 10 to 50 versus 11 to 50, different gear range, right? So what can you do with this? SRAM's NX cassette will fit on a Shimano HG hub. So you can take a SRAM 12-speed NX, only NX, Fit it on here, it will be 11 to 50. And now you can use an Eagle system on here, a 12 speed Eagle system. Which Eagle system can you use? Any of them, because they will all be compatible with that NX cassette. So you can go X01, XX1, really high end with that same cassette. You can go NX, SX, GX with that cassette. All compatible with the NX. You can also buy a Sunrace. Sunrace makes an 11 to 50 cassette designed for the HG hub and it will also be compatible with your NX GX Eagle system. So let's say you already have a Shimano SLX 1x10. You can take that out, put the 12 speed cassette on there, you can use your same narrow wide chain ring. So you don't have to change your crank set or your chain ring. And then what you would need is a 12 speed derailleur, a 12 speed chain and a 12 speed shifter. And you've upgraded to a 12 speed starting from your old Shimano HD. This could be a 1x8 system, you can do the same thing. This could be a 3x8 system, you can do the same thing, but then you will need to change to a narrow wide chain ring in the front. You cannot go from a 7-speed rear system because the 7-speed hub is different. So 8, 9, 10, 11 is the same hub. And 12. So here I have my 12-speed system on my Venso. This wheel, if you ever follow my videos, this is a WTB STI 25 Shimano HG wheel set that I bought. And I initially had a, an 11 speed cassette on here. So I went and I got the NX. Now I have the NX cassette here, 11 to 50. I have a SRAM NX 12 speed chain. And I went ahead and went with the GX on the derailleur. And I also went with the GX on the shifter. The reason I did that was because their NX derailleur has really bad reviews. People really don't like it. The GX, much better. And I'm still not going like, you know, with an XX1 that's super expensive. So this was a little pricier than the NX, but it works better. It's a little more stable. It's better built and more reliable. So I went with the GX. The crank set, I have the NX 
good enough. And here with the 12 speed chain, we can check that race face narrow wide standard. You know, I have this, this one I use on my 11 speed bike, but if you can check here, if we line up the teeth, of course go narrow wide. If you go one tooth over, it won't fit. This only fits one way, but there is absolutely no problem with that. So the width and the spacing is the same. It will fit a 12 speed. So if you don't have an Eagle crank set and chain ring, you're good. You're good to go. You do not have to change that. So I could potentially keep my race face with my narrow wide there and just add the chain. Like I said before, the cassette, the derailleur, the shifter, and I'm up to 12 speed from a Shimano 8, 9, 10 or 11 speed system. So hopefully that explained how you can upgrade what's compatible, what's not. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Hit like if you like this video, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.